It seems like an obvious rose print, and then there's a little bit more going on. The fact that he's kind of got a discreet little kind of Fornicetti eye, and right on the bust dart, very deft plasmal. <laughs> It's a freezing spring morning in Paris in the Marais. I'm at a store called Odetta. I've never been here before. Friends have told me about it. That store is primarily aimed at stylish Marais girls that want to take something off the racks they can, they can wear instantly. Let's see what I find, if anything. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> La boutique, c'est euh, l'idée, c'est de mixer euh, à la fois le, le vintage, donc des pièces plus anciennes, et aussi le contemporain. Euh, on peut avoir des pièces euh, récentes et des pièces plus anciennes euh, qui datent des années entre 60 et 80. Mm, Intéressant, c'est qu'on voit la tête de l'animal en fait. Ah oui, you know, this is a long couture. I remember when he suddenly did these incredibly short skirts with these really big shouldered blouses. And it was such a radical new <laughs> silhouette, if you could believe it. It has little couture things like these little cross stitches at the front of the skirt, which indicates this is the front and not the back. Oh, couture skirts are going to have that kind of detail in. You can see the original hemline was about an inch lower, but she was really clearly had some legs to show off. It's a Karl Lagerfeld label skirt from the kind of late 80s, could be early 90s, I guess. This is going to tell you that it's the runway sample because it has the, the number of the exit. So, you know, look number 28, worn by Karen. You know, to get a runway sample is obviously the holy grail in a way. So often the piece that ends up in the door has been adulterated a little bit from the designer's original vision and sometimes very dramatically changed. So who knows if it was even, if, if it even went into production, you know, it could just be one of them. The one thing that I wanted more than life itself uh, was the one thing in the store that isn't for sale. And that was the uh, Salon Rive Gauche hippie hat. It's exactly the hat that Eddie Sleman re-edited in a way for his debut Saint Laurent women's wear collection. It was just so emblematic of that kind of hippie chic, very early 1970s moment. In fact, I think it is 70 or 71, with the stars on it, which is something he'd done for a couture collection, presumably the season before. The Odette had, had one or two fun Saint Laurent couture things. They'd be amusing additions to the collection, I would say. That store owner also recognizes that, so for the time being, he's keeping it for his collection. Let's just see how long that lasts. Thank you. Merci.